Why? Why can I not see any further? Now that I possess both Monados, I should be at one with the passage of fate. Why does the vision end here? Huh? So Dixon has passed. Lorothea too. How can this be? Are Telethia growing weak? How could they be defeated by such worthless mortals? This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. A world that has no need for gods? <laughs> there is no world without a god. This world belongs to me! Where are we? What happened? At night time. Is Ricky have bad dream? Look down. Look at all the stars. We're not on Bionis anymore. There's no land or sea either. It's beautiful. Is that a ball of water? So, you finally made it, Shulk. <gasps> it's you. What is it, Shulk? I cannot wait to see which path you choose. Let us meet again after you have made your choice. Ugh! Welcome, Shulk. Shulk. That voice! 
It's Zanza. But he looks different. I had planned to use the body obtained from Shulk as a vessel in which to dwell for the next millennium. However, I came to possess a great and unexpected power. Maynith's Monado. Correct. In addition to my own Monado, which you kept safe for me, I was also able to obtain a second weapon which holds the power of creation. Now I possess all I desire. There is no longer any need for the life of Bionis. I must thank you indeed, Shulk. You were of more use to me than any of my disciples. Now that I have the Monados, I can forgive you your betrayal. Ha! You're gonna give him a reward? Precisely. I will have him serve as my new disciple. You will be granted eternal life and unimaginable strength. Death will be but a fleeting afterthought. Are you so arrogant to believe that the High Entia... No. All life on Bionis are nothing but your playthings! Playthings? Yes! You don't know how it feels to have slain my brethren after they are transformed into Telethia. What are you talking about? A Telethia is a High Entia's true form. I did not transform them. I returned them. The Telethia are mere cells from my body. I conferred intelligence upon them on a mistaken whim, creating a primitive life form, the High Entia. They enjoyed a brief existence as sentient beings. For that, they should be grateful. Huh. So this is the arrogance of a creator. As I planned, the life of Bionis existed simply to serve as my vessels and my food. Bionis is nothing more than an accumulation of their corpses and life energy. But though you feign omnipotence, the High Entia still can find you to Prison Island. That is how limited you are. Confined me. I was merely resting there for a while. I was wounded in the battle with Maynard's vessel. I simply awaited the day when a new vessel, revealed to me in a vision, would be born. Until I was born, precisely. I intended to inhabit your body and once again do battle with Maynard. However, I had no idea that I would defeat her so easily. Maynath. You did a great deed in granting me a new Monado. I will gladly take you as my new disciple. Shulk. Never! I don't want to be your vessel or your disciple. I just want to live my life as a Homs in a world without you. That is most regrettable. You could have entrusted all to me and attained peace. But perhaps the vision of mortals will ever remain limited. Using one's power to change the world, that is a right possessed only by gods. Is that why you laid waste to Maconis? Of course along with the beings called Machina, who followed Maynard. They had evolved and become insolent under her protection. <laughs> so you're saying us Homs are next in line, eh? You are correct. You yourselves have proven that Homs are a dangerous species. How unfortunate. I had a desire for friendship, but Granting intelligence to the lives I created was a mistake. A god should not long for friendship. You're wrong! Maynard chose to exist alongside us. She grew to consider us her friends. You should have accepted that. But what you were hoping for was not friendship. 
You wanted worthless slaves. Our lives as food. Just as I suspected, it appears that I was mistaken to grant free will. However, all will soon be over. The Telethia will exterminate all life on Bionis. I will then create a new world. Just as I have done many times before. We will not allow it. We cannot. We will stop you! I shall wipe you from this world and bring forth this to life! Visions. You no longer possess the Monado. I don't know. It comes from the bottom of my heart. It shows me my enemy. It reveals the future I must change. The future we see is not set in stone. There are infinite possibilities based on the paths we choose. You should be well aware of this notion. For that is how you have always existed. That is a right for gods, and gods only! Why should we care? What's important isn't whether you can see the future or not. It's the will to make a choice, and the strength to seize your destiny. Our time has come. Our destiny is our own! Can 
it be? Amanada. It is not only you that has the right. Every living thing has the freedom to choose the path they walk. And that is the future. A third Manado has appeared. How can this have happened? You are mere mortals! Your existence cannot be permitted. I will destroy you! Impossible! How can such power dwell within you? Mine is the one true Monado! Instrument of destruction and rebirth! I am a god! All that is and shall be! You are nothing! This is the power of a god! No, it cannot be. How? The, the power of a god cannot be overcome. Zanza, this is the providence of the world. Even gods are merely beings restricted to the limited power determined by providence. That power, although great, is not unlimited. That voice! Albus! How dare you disobey me! Ah! I am Monado. I was here at the beginning. And I will proclaim the end. But that... that's, that's impossible. impossible. Shulk, it is time for you to choose. Does this world belong to Zanza, or does it belong to you? That is something I decided long ago! That, that symbol! Today, we use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! All that I am is fading. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation.